Right, hello there and welcome to another video for everythingkeyboard.blogspot.com uh, First in a while, um, sorry about the lack of content, everything's just really taken over. Uh, I'm at university now so it's um, it's pretty hectic. What I want to talk about today though is uh, a piece of software called Reason 5. Now I've used Reason before, um, I've used Reason 4. But Reason 5 came out a couple of months back and there's a couple of features in it which really sort of tempted me to upgrade. Um, one of them is the Dr. Octo loop player which is, um, I don't, if you're familiar with Reason you'll know of Dr. Rex uh, which is a, a means of playing sliced audio loops. Well, Dr. Octo allows you to have eight of them within one device and switch between them. So that's quite useful. Um, one thing I have found about it though, which I'm going to show you today, which I fa find even better than that, is the Kong Drum Designer. Now, um, what this essentially allows you to do is, um, it's basically the same sort of in interface as an Akai MPC, but instead of it just being a basic sampler, what you can do is, um, you can actually design drum sounds based on one of these modules. So we've got like a, a synthetic bass drum there, and a, there's a snare drum. These are your hi-hats and everything. Another snare rim shot. Some toms, sort of 80 Simmons styles. Um, now, those are just some of the things you can do with it. But what I've found useful, because I... Um, I like Redrum. I've used Redrum for a lot of things and uh, in a lot of my sort of projects it's my preferred method of programming drums because I'm not a drummer and it provides a you know, pretty good interface for doing it. So if I flip around the back using tab you can see loads and loads of wires. Now these yellow wires are actually connecting the triggers from the, um, the Redrum unit into the pads on the Kong unit. And um, so if I go up and show you, if I open the mixer up first of all and um, unmute the redrum, you'll see that if I press the bass drum pan on here, if I, um, if I can use the keyboard to do it. No, nope. no, nope, the keyboard has seemed to stop working. All right, well, basically, if I click that, it triggers, but if I click this up here, underneath that sound, which I will mute, it triggers. So you can use the pattern sequencer. Now what I've done is um, just programmed a really basic sort of Kraftwerk style motoric uh, drum beat. But you can see what it's doing here because quite helpfully it lights up the ones that are being triggered. So you can um, you can have that running round and round while you change a few things. So if I decide to change the snare drum, for instance, the sound of the snare drum, I've somehow made it very very awful there. I could change that to a physical modeling snare drum. I had forgotten I had a ring modulator on it. So you can Change that back to a, a synth snare. And there you go. So that's basically one um, one major advantage of 5 over 4 is that you've got this um, drum synthesizer and you can effectively recreate all of the old Simmons sounds um, whether you would want to or not is another question. But um, this is how I would, um, this is how I've used it so far. 
I've also tried it with um, playing it with the pads. I've got the Axiom 49, which has um, drum trigger pads. One disadvantage of using Redrum to trigger it is Redrum only has 10 slots, as you can see. So that is a disadvantage. But um, because this has got 16 different triggers. But if, if you've programmed your kits for Redrum, then you should get pretty used to doing it that way. And most people have a preferred um, map, if you like. You know, they'll have the bass drum in one, snare drum on two, etc., etc., etc. So it'll be the same on um, the Kong. And you can use it with the factory sounds. I mean, if I pull up uh, another one, if I pull up the um, down tempo one and run it. You, get, you can pretty much run it with any kit as long as you've got the wiring right in the back. But I, um, what I've done is I've linked one to one, two to two, uh, three is going to six because three is um, the uh, rim shot on the snare. Six, seven, and eight are the toms, so they go to nine, ten, and eleven, and um, ten goes to sixteen because I think ten is the ride symbol. Or it was in the kit that I was using before. Right. Well, this is um, that's me finished. Take care, everybody. Hope you found that useful.